In Hollister, police are looking for whoever opened fire on five people Saturday night. Two of them were killed. Today, law enforcement vowed to throw everything they have at the gang issue in hopes of arresting those responsible. Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez is live in Hollister. Felix. Well, Dan, all law enforcement agencies here in San Benito County on high alert following that deadly shooting tonight, the sheriff vowing a crackdown. I think where we are today after this event in our community is that we're going to have to be heavy on enforcement. San Benito County Sheriff Eric Taylor vowing to bring the wrath of law enforcement down on gangsters two days after a shooting on a 300 block of Rustic and Hollister that left two dead and sent another three to the hospital. We're going to do some immediate aggressive enforcement in this community. Hopefully that will provide some leads for this case that we can share with the police department. And we're not gonna, we're gonna send a message to everybody that we're not gonna tolerate this type of behavior in Hollister and San Diego County. The shooting, the second in recent weeks, and on Monday, the sheriff held an urgent meeting with his law enforcement partners to advise them he's allocating staff and overtime specifically for gang enforcement so police can focus on their murder investigation. Just to make sure that they feel supported and even if it's a matter of allowing the police department to allocate all of their resources to this investigation, which is a major investigation, and let us take the pressure off them by doing some enforcement, we want to be able to do that for them. Meanwhile, Hollister police say they continue to talk with the sheriff's office on forming a new gang task force. But Saturday's shooting, which police are describing as gang related, should bring some urgency to the effort. It's been in the works for, for quite a while. Um, it, um, it is just basically combining resources uh, to be uh, a little more effective out there in the community. Also on Friday, the day before that deadly shooting, all law enforcement agencies here in San Benito County served multiple search warrants, resulting in roughly half a dozen arrests as of tonight. So far, no one has been arrested in connection to Saturday's deadly shooting. Reporting from Hollister, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.